Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin and welcome back to the channel. A million dollars seems to be that magic number when it comes to money. It's that elusive number that so many people are striving for. It seems to be what dominates headlines of videos, news articles, and books. A million dollars is special. It's special because it's hard to do. There are roughly 18 million millionaires in the US. They make up about 8% of the population, meaning 92% of our population does not have a million dollars. So I'd say being in the top 8% is a pretty prestigious group. And maybe it's partly because it has a name. You save up seven figures and you can rightfully call yourself a millionaire. It's got a nice ring to it. It's not as though you save up $100,000 and you can walk around calling yourself a $100,000 heir. That's kind of silly. For whatever the reason, a million dollars is special. And often it's associated with the amount that you need to save up in order to retire, as if somehow saving up seven figures makes you eligible for retirement. Fun fact, 80% of all millionaires still work full time. I quite often talk about millionaires and the ability to save up a million dollars. Yes, most people are not millionaires, but for most people, it's actually fairly easy to become a millionaire and save up a million dollars over the course of their lifetime. For example, if you save just $200 a month, starting at the age of 20, just $200 a month, and did that until you turn 65, you would be a millionaire. That's not that much. That means over the course of an entire lifetime, you would have invested just $108,000 and it grew to over a million. That means only 10% of your net worth comes from what you actually invested. Over 90% comes from compound interest and growth. I'm sure if most 20 year olds knew and absolutely understood this, we'd have a lot more 20 year olds investing that $200 a month. Quite frankly, I believe it is simple and easy for the vast majority to become millionaires over the course of their lifetime. But remember the saying, what is easy to do is also easy not to do. It's very easy to take $100 from every single paycheck, assuming you get paid twice per month, and invest it into a broadly diversified index fund and let it grow. That's easy to do, but it's also easy not to do. It's easy to think, what does $100 really matter? Oftentimes people think, I don't really wanna save right now. I don't really make that much money. I'll just save more when I make more. A better habit to get into would be to save a little while you make a little. When you start to make more, save more then. Remember what Warren Buffett says, I don't jump over seven foot bars. I look around for one foot bars that I can step over. It's best to keep things simple. Most people don't know or don't truly understand how easy it is to accumulate wealth over the course of a lifetime because most people don't do it. Sure, it requires great discipline to save a small portion of every single paycheck, as well as great patience. For instance, if you were to simply save $200 per month, after 10 years, you would have just $28,000. After 20 years, $95,000. After 30 years, just under $300,000. Watching money grow is like watching paint dry. It's not that exciting when you measure it in years. But then something magical starts to happen. At year 40, those investments jump to almost $750,000. And then in those final five years, it grows all the way up to a million dollars. Just to be clear, in this example, it took 29 years to save up that first $250,000. But then once compound interest took over, your portfolio grows by that exact same amount in just the final five years. That's pretty incredible. Saving a million dollars is easy to do, but most people don't do it. Most people don't start when they're young and most people don't have that type of patience. So I guess the next question becomes, do you actually need a million dollars? Does having a million dollars somehow make you wealthy or does having a million dollars saved up somehow make you eligible for retirement? Well, the important thing to note is that wealth and money, they are incredibly personal. Wealth looks different on absolutely everyone. It depends on your lifestyle. If you live a life that costs you $40,000 a year to maintain, you might feel pretty darn wealthy with a million dollars invested. But if you live a lifestyle where you need $300,000 a year to maintain it, a million dollars really isn't all that much. 
And it's also important to note that there's a mental component to feeling wealthy as well. Only 13% of millionaires report feeling wealthy. The fact of the matter is most people who are millionaires don't look like that image you might conjure up when you think wealth or millionaire. They aren't out there driving a Ferrari or vacationing on a private island. Instead, they're probably driving around in a Toyota and helping their children through college and trying to squeeze in a few family vacations every single year. Most of them are incredibly humble, hardworking people, and that's how they were able to save up that seven-figure net worth. It is through discipline and their current lifestyle that they were able to save up those seven figures. It's not as if one day they hit millionaire status and boom, flip a switch and start living it up. Most of them continue to work. They know what got them to where they currently are, and they continue to do that. A million dollars really isn't anything special. I think it's a worthy goal. It's a fun goal to set and achieve, but at the end of the day, it's just a number. Could you retire and live a phenomenal life on less? Absolutely, people do it all the time. The fact of the matter is, you might not need anywhere close to that. For instance, the average social security payout is $1,500 a month, which is roughly $18,000 a year. Let's say you have $500,000 saved up in investments. You could safely withdraw 5% of that, which would be $25,000 a year. So between Social Security and your own investments, you could have an income of about $43,000 per year. And if you go into retirement with a fully paid off house and adult children who are fully capable of taking care of themselves, that might be a pretty decent income. Of course, it really depends on the lifestyle you live and of course where you live, but if you live in a moderate to low cost of living area, $43,000 might be good enough. It's actually pretty decent. Now, in case you're a numbers person and you're wondering why I used 5% as opposed to the traditional 4%, well, it's because the inventor of the 4% rule himself has long said that 4% may simply be too conservative. So if you retire later in life, 5%, you could actually withdraw that and that would be a safe withdrawal rate. If you retire earlier in life, you're gonna to wanna to go with a more conservative rate to ensure you don't run out of money, like maybe 3%. A million dollars is nice, but it's not absolutely necessary. Could you retire on less? Absolutely. Could you feel wealthy on less? Absolutely. If you live a modest lifestyle, maybe you feel incredibly wealthy at a lesser dollar figure. If you live a high lifestyle, maybe you need more to feel wealthy. Maybe you need three or four million dollars. Fact of the matter is, finance is incredibly personal. The amount that you need is unique to you and your financial journey. Having a million saved up doesn't automatically change the way you live. Most people who are millionaires are not out there living like the real housewives. Instead, they're living like you and your neighbor and even using coupons when they shop. They know how hard they work to get to that level. They're not just gonna blow their money on unnecessary things. And there's one more thing. Saving up that first million or even two million, that's the hardest. After that, it gets significantly easier. For example, let's say you have $250,000 saved up. You're gonna need a 300% increase on your money in order to reach millionaire status. That's likely to take some time. Or let's say you have $500,000 saved up. You need a 100% increase on your money. You need your money to double in order to reach a million dollars. Again, finding an investment that's going to double in a brief amount of time, that's not probably likely. But the good news is if the stock market keeps chugging along at 10% per year, you could reach millionaire status in just 7.2 years. So once you have that first million, how hard is it to get to that second million? Well, it's still quite a leap because you need your money to double. But after that, it gets subsequently easier. To go from two to three million, you need your money to increase by 50%. From three to four million, 33%. From four to five million, 25%. So there really is some truth to that first million being the hardest. After that, it gets subsequently easier. You just have to stay invested long enough. But just because it's a little bit challenging and time consuming to set this goal to become a millionaire, doesn't mean it's not worth trying. I actually think it's a worthy goal. I think the skills you will have to gain in order to achieve millionaire status are far more important than the actual dollar amount you're left with. Most people don't become a millionaire by accident. Most people who accumulate a nest egg of seven figures 
are hardworking, disciplined, and self-motivated. These qualities and characteristics can translate to success in all areas of your life. So I think have that goal to become a millionaire, but not for the dollar amount, but because of the person it forces you to become in order to attain that. Remember, a million is just a number. There's nothing inherently special about it. The amount you may need may be more, it may be less. That's up for you to decide. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments below. Let me know what your money goals are. When do you hope to achieve them? How much are you trying to save up? I post new videos every single week. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you got anything at all out of this video, please give it a like. And if you know of anyone who likes this type of content, please consider sharing. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye.